sought him. They didn't seek promotion. They sought God. Are you with me at all? Are you with me? Now, this man says, My soul pants for you, O oh God. Seeking and exploring and searching and digging for God. Not for God's things. Not for God's properties. Not for God's blessings. But for God. Now, you know there is a very tiny line in between what I'm saying. Very tiny line. And the tiny line I found again with my own life. I found that it is very easy to stop seeking God and start seeking the things that God gives. Eh? I found that it is so easy in my own experience. I'm not talking about someone else now. I'm talking about my own experience. I found that, oh, it is very easy for me to be praying every day about Peace House, about this program, about this program, and not seeking God. And yet, I don't have a sense of failure. I feel that I'm doing well. Why? Because after all, they are the things of God. But it's a very great loss. When what I step into the presence of God to seek is about programs, about projects, about this one, about that one, about that one. And God said, I could have even given you that even if you didn't come here. Is that all you came here for? I thought you wanted to see me. I thought you wanted to, to be with me. I thought you wanted to, to enjoy my presence. I thought you want us to continue our courtship in relationship, in becoming one with each other. I thought you want to be with me. I didn't know that in a peace house you are pursuing. It's so painful. And it's so easy. Do you know it's so easy for Capro to become your daily object of prayer, sir? And you will be feeling that you are, you are, really, you are really a prayerful man. It's so easy. You wake up, Capro. You are sleeping, Capro. Hey, Kamuku feed every day. God say, what do you mean by that? And you won't get those things. It's so easy. It's you know, and I'm telling you that it's so easy. There's no man who is doing the work of God that does not become obsessed with the work he's doing. But I wish God delivers me from the obsession with the work of God. I want to be obsessed with God. I wish my obsession is God. I wish what, what tickles me is God every day. I wish when I go to the place of prayer, I say, Father, forget about things. Let's talk about you. wish I just get in there. I say Lord that I may know you. It's you I came to see. And we can discuss other issues when we are finished. There are addendums. Ah, someone say, hey, how can you call ministry an addendum? It's an addendum. But until God reorders it for each one of us, we will not understand that we miss something when it is not him that we are pursuing. He said, my soul thirsts for things. Is that what he said? What did he say? My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? That was his cry. That was his cry. But do you know, we don't have that understanding. If I say, let us pray now. And I give you 20 minutes to pray. You will be discovered that your first opening statement will say, Father, Father, I want to know you. Oh God, I want to. 
to know you. That I may know you in the name of Jesus. Now watch yourself. If it is possible for you to watch yourself. The next two minutes you have switched over. What are you asking for now? Oh God, concerning this. Lord, you are God who answers prayer. You are God who does what a man cannot do. Yes, Lord, I receive that thing in the name of Jesus. You see, you come to God's presence. You talk more about the devil than the God that is meeting with you. Have you ever seen a lover? Eh? A lover. You've just come to your husband. And just the little time you have now in the privacy of your bedroom, in your closet, then instead of your husband to start talking about you, about what concerns you, you now say, hmm, God, the way I saw Sister Christie, and he talks so oh, about Christie, he shifted from Christie, he go to Sister Rhoda, from Rhoda, he went somewhere, and after that, he said, Let's just thank God. Which wife feels happy with that? I'm asking you. Does that build your relationship? And each time you will hear your wife say, forget about that. Let's talk about ourselves. You say, no, is there any problem? There's no problem. No. Relationship is not because there's a problem. Are you understanding? Relationship, building a relationship is not because there's a problem. It's exploring to know each other. To get to become acquainted with one another's feelings. And to be able to open up and just be yourself in the presence of each other. And God is desiring that. He wants you to come into the closet where you and him, you are just together. You are just chatting together. You are not talking about the devil here. I wish it is possible for you when you get to the place of prayer. Once you shut the door, remind yourself that the devil is not here. Do you know that the devil is not there? Eh? He's not there! But you are so used to talking about the devil that every little, you know, devil, I bind you. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Get away from here. In the, where? And God is saying, oh God, this my son is so used to the devil that even in my presence he still the devil he sees he doesn't see me now what I'm saying may be trivial but it's a trend that God has to deal with you see experiencing God is only possible when we when God becomes our object and our subject Hallelujah. He becomes our pursuit. He becomes our search. He becomes our all in all. He becomes our excitement. He said, oh my soul thirst for you. How do you feel? If somebody who have, you have not seen for long, he saw you, he said, oh praise God. Now your face be this. I have just been wondering when I will see you again. I've been wondering. I just was, I, in fact, I was imagining how you are, whether you have grown a little more, whether this, ah, ah, oh, come, 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 come. Let's just go and sit where I can really just be with you. How do you feel? You feel precious. Eh? You feel treasured. You feel wanted. But then you have not seen somebody for the past two weeks. And as he's coming back, and you ran to grab him. And the first thing he said, Praise God. And let's just open my bag. And he opens the bag. And he's sorting out things. I said, Please bring me the computer. There's a letter I need to quickly write before I settle down. The wife that is expecting the husband for two weeks. How do you feel? Wives, tell me. Tell me the truth now. You feel nice. Eh? 
you feel that why did he come home, sir? He wasn't coming for us. He's only coming to continue what he used to do. And somehow I sense that in building a relationship with God, when he is not the center of our prayer, the center of our worship, the center of our enjoyment, can you spend one hour just with God? Just say, Baba, I didn't come for any problem. I just came to see you. Do you know that some of you, when you don't have problem, you don't have prayer requests? Eh? Eh? When everything is going smooth, you, there's no need. Just, Lord, we just thank you. And it's like we are problem oriented. We only come in when there's something to talk about. My tears have been my food day and night. Why they continually say to me, Where is your God? When I remember these things, I pour out my soul within me. For I used to go with the multitude. I went with them into the house of God with the voice of joy and praise. With a multitude that kept a pilgrim face. That was the car of his heart. That was his exploration. Nothing gave him rest until he saw God. Hallelujah. Do you understand this? Do you understand this? Men of old. It was their preoccupation. It was their occupation. Jesus recommended it. He said it's one thing that is needful. And you know, I was joking yesterday. I said, when I saw the title, I said, well, we need to keep sounding new. So that it will not look as if we are saying the same old thing over and over again. But I sense God is saying the same thing over and over and over and over again. And we need to pay attention. Hallelujah. Do you remember Moses? Do you remember Moses? Eh? Did you see something in the life of Moses? I know the biggest thing we remember in my about Moses was the burning bush. He saw the bush burning. But I tell you, that encounter was only an introduction for Moses. There were greater interaction between the Lord and Moses, which has nothing to do with angel. It has nothing to do with burning bush. It has nothing to do with uh, anything. It has to do between him and the Lord alone. I want you to see the testimony of God concerning. 